Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Alright, what's up internet? Thanks for joining me live from Hardware Sugar. Unfortunately, we're having technical problems again. Uh, when <laughs> I always joke that whenever there's a stream, something will always go wrong. This time, parang, uh, I'm not connected to YouTube for some reason. You'll also notice the chat usually we have in the upper right portion of the screen uh, is missing. And again, I have no idea what's going on since um, I haven't changed any settings. Although the the indicator in OBS is also telling me that the connection is quite bad, so it will probably be choppy. Um, I guess things to note, because usually I don't stream on a Saturday, but it turns out I, I decided to stream today from the shop because our usual staff, Jay, uh, is on leave. So I took a shift in the shop this morning, and then I figured since I was here, might as well uh, you know, do live from Hardware Sugar. So we'll just uh, upload this later on to YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. Since apparently it's not playing nice currently. Um, but so yeah, we're only streaming live to Facebook. Thanks for joining me on this Saturday afternoon. I hope you had a good lunch. Um, I will eat once the stream is done. So first we'll talk about Noctua and their air coolers. We actually just got this one quite recently in stock, like yesterday, I think. <laughs> The Noctua NH-L9A AM4. So it's one of those slim coolers, primarily for ITX builds. And I know at least one member of the audience is uh, very into ITX builds. So it is quite small. We're not doing a proper unboxing of this one. But like, just look at the crazy quality on this Noctua. I mean, everything is so nicely presented. So there's the foam thing. And it's not the soft foam. It's like the hard foam, the no-nonsense foam. Then you have the NTH1, everybody's favorite. Then the Noctua badge, which again, because Noctua is Noctua, Noctua, they haven't changed this in in years. I have a cooler from five or six years ago. It's the exact same badge. And then you have, even on camera, you can see just how small this thing is, um, the cooler is. And then you have this, the screws in place and things like that. So quite, again, very quality. Very quality look to the Noctua. Oh, and parang, parang I ended up unboxing it na din. But again, you can see it's quite tiny. Very small profile, low profile CPU cooler. Again, usually for ITX or SFF builds, small form factor builds, which are becoming quite popular nowadays. So that's, um, this is just for Ryzen though, because this is the AM4 version. So that is one of the coolers we have in stock. But Noctua, we reached out to them and they were, we were like, oh, you know, can you send us something to review? Because we really like Noctua. Uh, and they were like, yeah, sure. So they sent us the NU12S Redux. For those of you wondering, the Redux actually is their budget line. Um, we used to sell Redux, but I had no idea, you know, what the difference between the Redux and the normal line was. But I was chatting with the the Noctua guy who, who handled our request. He was like, yeah, the Redux, actually, we position it or we market it towards the more budget-oriented consumers or the value-oriented market. And that the Redux comes in gray. So the Noctua has the usual Noctua red. Although you'll notice that this one is in the Chromax black, which everybody went like agog for after like oh my god Noctua has something in black now and it's kind of ridiculous you can see how how cultish people become about Noctua like it became such a big deal when they came out with this Chromax black version the Redux the gray version is you know their budget line and it, it comes in gray to be honest you know they have a very 
good description on their site like what the difference is between the regular NHU12S and the Redux version. I haven't read it yet, but we're gonna rev we're gonna be reviewing this cooler. But I thought it'd be nice to unbox it on air. Um, I have not. Yeah, I haven't opened this thing. So this came from Noctua in Taiwan. Super, actually, um, very easy guys to talk to. They were like, "Yeah, sure, we'll send you something to review." Like, yay. So here we go. So again, the Redux is gray, and you can see the fan peeking out already. We just. This is actually my first unboxing live, I think. I mean, like on air. Fritz, what's up? Uh, yeah, di pa naka live sa YouTube. I know. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Ma er error talaga sa YouTube, but we will. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna re-upload it. So I'm gonna upload it as a video later on. Para di ako si ni. Uh, ni sponsor now. Hey, you know you, you know we have a. You said you'd live stream and you didn't. I'm like, but I, I'll upload it later as as a video. Uh, and indeed, Noctua is live. So, actually, it looks very similar to the regular NHU12S. So it's uh, again the S is for the the S is their variant, so that you don't need to worry about RAM clearance issues. It's kind of like their off center. Of center variant. Um, yeah, so, so as usual, the fan clips to bring it down. So you have the usual fan clips to clip it onto the cooling tower or the heat sink proper. Um, it says Redux on the. Let me bring that in closer. It says Redux on the CPU tower, and then the fan is Redux gray. Comes with. Does it come with pre-applied thermal paste? Let me get the plastic off. It does come with pre-applied thermal paste in a nice hexagon formation. Um, in contrast to the NHL9A, which came with a tube of uh, NTH1. Let me see if... Noctua. Okay, let's not smear the thermal paste. So I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip the cooler. Um, the NHL9A came with a tube of NTH1. So let's see if Noctua is equally. You can kind of feel actually that even the packaging of the Redux isn't as luxe or as premium as the as the Chromax Black we opened up a little while ago. It's not. So you got the usual screws and things. It doesn't come with the. Mm, is this the yeah, the back plate? It does not indeed come with NTH1 uh, tube of NTH1. So <laughs> one way that Noctua is cutting back, although it has a very pretty um, pre-applied hexagonal uh, thermal paste on the. On the CPU block itself, but hey, fricker! <laughs> Just as I say that, don't smear the. I uh, know I put the, I put the, the plastic uh, protective cover on backwards. I smeared a little bit. Damn it! Sorry, Noctua. Let me just use, get, use the cardboard to kind of wipe it off so it won't. Okay, just like just a very little bit. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> sorry, I did. Uh, that wasn't particularly exciting. Although I, I was, uh, again, this is my first time to. Oh, even the the kind of pads that they they give are not are the Redux gray. Although they do come also with the black. Um. Yes. Yeah, so this is my first live unboxing. Although as I was telling some people, I don't really. It's still not. Still not. Um. Still not. Streaming to YouTube for some reason. Actually, I've had this problem before in the shop. Just my setup in the shop. Like last December, it started happening December, November. For some reason, it just wouldn't um, stream to YouTube. And I thought I solved the problem by disconnecting the my restream account and then reconnecting. But it, I tried that a while ago and it still doesn't want to connect to YouTube. 
And then in my uh, my home setup where I usually stream like media diet and pwede magtanong, um, for some reason, it kind of cuts out during chat. Or I've noticed that if I use the restream chat app, it cuts out. I mean, it the the stream suddenly dies. I thought, I thought it was a firewall issue, so I turned off all my firewalls and it's still happening. So everywhere I stream, from the shop or from the house, um, something always happens. And you can tell that like, I'm not really good because I didn't get it all the way in. Fortunately, again, this is a review copy, so we we do get to keep this one. I don't need to send it back to Noctua in a... <laughs> in an... Uh, in a ni not nicely packed state. Noctua also sent their add-on. So you notice the NHU12S only came with... <laughs> Stop, Chris Mendoza. Uh, you got home quite quickly. Chris actually was uh, in the shop a while ago and he bought the 6 terabyte hard drive. Um, yeah, so Noctua, you notice the NHU12S, the Redux, and the regular version only comes with one fan, but Noctua was also kind enough to send their upgrade, or basically their add-on fan, which you will clip. So you clip, on, you clip it onto the back of the NHU12S, so again, Redux gray. Um, and actually, when we do test the NHU12S, uh, we'll do it like with the regular one fan configuration. So you have the two fan clips. And when we put this add on in, like how how much performance does this little fan add or you know contribute to the performance of the cooler? Um, I am curious because. Yes, of course, two is better than one, but at the same time, do you really need it? Um, like, how much does it really add? So, the usual adapters, three pin, four pin. And then, oh, at least this one comes with a vibration, vibration things that you put in the corner, so to deaden the sound. Although, I've never had a problem really with Noctua in terms of sound as well. They seem, you know, they're very, they're not be quiet. <laughs> I mean, the brand, but they're they're quite silent. I've never had any issues with the uh, with Noctua in terms of noise. I had from another brand before. This is this bent out of shape. Uh, it, they're both bent, so I guess it's yeah, it's kind of yeah, this, yeah. Then they clip. Okay. Uh, I actually had another, not from Noctua, but another brand before. I had a headache because some of these fan clips were missing. I, I'll neglect to name the brand. So it was a real headache. Um, and it's it's one of those things, like you don't really think about it, but a lot of logistics have to go into like making sure each product has like these little itsy bitsy things. Like, oh, this particular item needs to have these two fan clips and this these three adapters and things like that. Um, and you know, mistakes happen, whether it's on the assembly line, like it's automated or if it is manually done I, I don't know how noctua uh does their assembly line although whoopsie again oh wow that little clip just like flew out of there yeah so we sometimes get that like for cases and items where a lot of it <laughs> can't <laughs> And get it back in. See how it goes? <laughs> I actually I'm quite terrible at like so I get we get items and then I have to open them up. And then they the these whoever designs these packaging, like they're origami masters or something. It's really difficult to get them back into the proper position. I don't know if okay, there we go. Like I don't know my spatial reasoning skills are just shot. I'm getting old, but really quite difficult to get it as nicely back in as when you found it. Uh, for example, like this NHQ12S, I can't even get the, it's kind of bulging. I can't really, uh, okay, yeah, you force it down. <laughs> uh, but then, but yeah, this one worked out well. So, um, how much you NHQ12S Redux? I don't know, actually. I haven't seen this locally yet. Uh, I'd have to ask our Noctua supplier, but what we do have in stock 
is so we got a bunch of Noctua's new stock. Um, so we have the U12. S in Chromax Black, so not the Redux version. We have the regular U12S in the Noctua Red or Brown version. And of course, um, the newest cooler I think from Noctua is the NHU12A. Um, this is particularly interesting. We started selling this even pre-pandemic, so I guess it's not that new. But yung maganda dito, the performance is, you know, it, it competes with the 140mm coolers like the Noctua NHD15, but the the package is smaller. It's uh, 140 mm performance in a 120 mm size. So actually quite impressive, The this NHU-12A. Speaking of impressive, just to transition from Noctua, uh, Deepcool sent us an AS500 Plus for review, and I super liked it so much. Both the aesthetic and the the cooling performance is amazing, actually. I'll, I'll save the details for the review, but I was quite impressed. And Deepcool is not... I mean, you know, Deepcool is a good brand. Uh, we carry a lot of it, but it doesn't have the same, you know, halo effect. When you hear Noctua, you you, you know, you know, quality. It has like that. It has that kind of halo branding around it. Deepcool um, doesn't have that yet, but this AS500 Plus really packs a punch. It's cheaper than the other brands, and yet it delivers the same performance. So I'll get into the performance specs. Um, in the formal review but bottom line i liked it so much that i ended up buying for the shop <laughs> um which i don't know i i <laughs> i mean it's kind of atypical or it's kind of uncommon that we have you you know we, there's a tech youtuber and they also own a shop so <laughs> liam magnaye needed to make an fb account just to watch this live stream thank <laughs> thank you for going through the trouble um it, it, it will be up on youtube I'll, I'll upload it later but <laughs> thank you for going through the trouble um yeah, it's kind of uncommon for for a tech YouTuber to also be a shop. And we did start out as a shop before we started uploading to YouTube. Um, and so I, I wonder like how the brands look at us. I mean, like you know, like Deep Cool, they sent it to us for review. But at the same time, um, you know, it's double benefit. If we like it a lot, we can we'll buy it and we'll stock it in store. So there's kind of like a double exposure if you send your stuff to Hardware Sugar. Um, of course, other shops, other local shops do have YouTube channels. Um, I follow them for research. Like, I just want to see what they do. But to be honest, uh, either it's so corporate na parang it's very bland or or they don't have any. Um, so I think, you know, not to toot our own horns, but Hardware Sugar um, keeps it real <laughs> uh, in the sense that, yeah, it's really me. It's really Rafael. You, you can see our friends. It's really the tech staff. Um, it's really who you see on the YouTube is really who you'll see in the shop, um, and uh, and our content is also not corporate. Like we, like we kind of we swear very lightly on camera, um, and if you watch some of our other videos, actually we do we have an NSFW not safe for work video coming out uh, hopefully next week. So yeah, we. Because, because you know, uh, uh, me and Rafael aren't as uh, tight-assed, if you will. We're not so as bothered by having to be super polite and things like that. So you'll notice the Facebook posts, the YouTube videos. Uh, they can have personality. You know, they're not bland. So I think we're really the only local shop that um, has something along those lines. Um, Ron. Stop. Good afternoon. Do you think fan cooler manufacturers like Noctua have probably exhausted all possible cooling performance of fans? Um, that's a good question. Actually, I was reading a review or an interview rather with Noctua, and they were I I, saw, I forget the context of the review, like how old it was, maybe like in the past two years. But basically, Noctua was saying that we we haven't come out with an NHD 16. So the NHD 15 is their big boy cooler, kind of like their top of the line performance thing, because to be honest, they haven't found a way to top its performance. Um, although the NHU-12A is a step in the right direction. Yung nga, able, they were able to get basically the same level of performance into a smaller package. But can the challenge for them, uh, as you pointed out in your question, is yes, um, have we reached the point where you know all of the design tricks have been discovered, all of the materials that you can use for uh, mass-produced consumer-level product, have been tried um, and that is why the NHD 15 is quite old I, I forget when it came out but it's not a new product 
But they haven't come out with a D16 because yun nga, they they haven't found a way to make to surpass the performance of the D15. And it's to the credit of Noctua that they just didn't repackage the thing. I mean, we all know brands or manufacturers that you know don't really add anything, but they feel they need to come out with a new product every year. So they kind of repackage it a little. They add quanting RGB. This is especially prevalent in the cell phone space. I mean, you know, sometimes, yes, of course, the screen dramatically improves and things like that. But there are some years where there isn't really a lot of performance increase, um, but the, the brands have to come out with their once a year product refresh. So it is very minimal. There, there's very little difference. And, and, and if you follow the videos, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of anti-Apple. I don't like, I, I don't really have a lot of Apple products. Although this particular phone right now I'm using is an Apple, but I stole it from my wife. Um, Apple is guilty of that. Some of their refresh, refreshed versions over the years, you know, you don't, there isn't much of a change. Um, that one example would be the Siri. When, when Siri came out, I think that's the iPhone 6S. And I think the S stood for Siri. That's a Siri version. The super minarket nila na, wow, wow, it's like this AI can understand you and you talk to Siri and things like that. When actually, yun ya, the, I don't think there was any particularly big hardware leap and Siri, they just bought that technology. They bought the company that was developing Siri, then they packaged it into, they baked it into Apple products. So, I mean, you know, it's not, it's, yeah, it's like, was there really a need to come out with the iPhone 6S? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people bought it. So on that respect, Apple is tops. Apple is tops in convincing people that uh, they should buy stuff. <laughs> but you know, to go back to Noctua, it is to the credit of the Noctua team that they haven't gone down that route that, oh, let's issue the NHD 15 in evergreen and um, sky blue or whatever stuff or with RGB, right? I mean, Noctua is Noctua because they care about performance and they care about quality and not on pushing these unnecessary um, product refreshes when they when they don't need to. Just to answer the question, um, the AS500 Plus actually is an example that there is still that innovation is still possible. Um, they tailored it. You get a particularly good performance increase for Ryzen chips because the way the Ryzen chips are structured. I'm not an electrical engineer, but I I, you know, I, I was researching for the review. Um, where the heat comes from the Ryzen chip, the the AS500 Plus kind of crisscrossed a lot of tubes or not wires, tubes or basically the plumbing of the cooler does better with the Ryzen because it was specifically designed with the Ryzen in mind. Oy, iinit yung CP let's say let's say this is the CPU chip and uh, okay. So let's say this square is the CPU chip and for whatever the way Ryzen is uh, engineered, let's say umiinit siya dito on top. So the AS500 Plus was specifically designed to have heat capture points at the specific spot or you know where where the heat can more readily transfer, where it's the hottest. And that's why it has such good performance in such a slim package. It it has the same performance as the big boys, but it's its profile is much smaller. Although it is as tall as the big boys. You know, we'll get into that into the review. Um so short answer <laughs> after we did the long answer. Yes, it is it is still possible to have um, performance gains in uh, in good old fashioned air coolers. Um Deepcool was able to do that because of the way they designed I think basically it's the heat transfer points. Again I'm I'm oversimplifying but they specifically chose the heat transfer points where the Ryzen gets the hottest so that it's able to dump that heat quickly to the CPU tower and in turn the the tower radiates it out. Because it's only a five heat pipe design, actually, the AS500 Plus. Um, but because the heat pipes are strategically placed, it's able to shunt a lot of the air. Um, so yeah, it, it is still possible. And uh, yeah, I was, I was excited to try that out with the Deepcool AS500 Plus. Um, yes, but those are, are our those are our Noctua coolers on stock. And thank you again to Noctua for sending the Redux. Love Noctua. I said in my Facebook post that I have to stop being such a fanboy. <laughs> like I'll, I'll turn off fanboy mode when I do the review. But I mean, really, it's Noctua, right? I mean, basically, <laughs> you can't go wrong, talaga. I mean, I, 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 personal experience, any review that I've seen, you really can't go wrong with a Noctua. 
We do have the Master Air. Cooler Master is also a good option. Um, a bit cheaper than Noctua. And of course, the German cousin or the Austrian, I think they're both Austrian, cousin of Noctua is Be Quiet, also a renowned brand. And we have their big boy cooler, the Dark Rock Pro 4. Uh, one of the best sellers in the shop. We sell it quite often and it sells out quite often. Um, if you've been following our Facebook, we you know that we had that Intel build that uh, initially it had a stock cooler and it was hitting like 100 on load. But with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, I think the owner sent me stats. It was like um, it 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 dramatically like 40 degrees or something on load. It's only hitting 60 or 62 now, which is amazing. I mean, even for the Dark Rock Pro 4. So it is a big boy cooler, but you can really see the performance gains um, with it. Why don't we have the NHD15 since we've been talking about it and it is the counter, it is the rival to the DRP4 because our supplier doesn't have. Um, he got, the supplier was able to restock us with these these uh, models which we usually carry. Pero yun nga, the NHD15 which we also usually carry, um, wala, we didn't have. So even price, price uh, sorry, um, stock shortages even for less sexy products like air coolers. Fritz is asking, do I prefer air coolers or AIOs? Um, it really depends. Like I, I, it really depends on the build. I, I've Some builds I've suggested AIO, some builds I have suggested coolers. My personal rig is still using an air cooler, but that was because it was constructed before <laughs> AIOs were around. Um, I do like AIOs to be honest. I love their aesthetic. Um, the, naging uso ngayon pero medyo pricey pa rin. May LCD display. Um, again, RO, the first version I saw of that was the ROG. And then NZXT has a version and now the NZXT version is super popular. Um, again, to Deepcool, we are reviewing... They also sent over the Castle 240X ARGB version. You'll notice... I think it's being seen on camera. Yeah, you... There's like a may counting infinity effect, like there's deep cool logo in front, and then you can see it also in the back. Uh, I like, yeah, so I like the aesthetic of AIOs, um, but they are usually more expensive than. They remind me of a scuba regulator, and I used to dive. Um, I used to dive, you know, a couple of years back, and I I do miss diving. Um, for those of you who are divers, I'm uh, advanced, so you, you, we can go deeper. Um, and I went to Palawan to dive dun sa wrecks. Um, it's amazing the, preserve, the how preserved it is. Anyway, um, so the deep cools, the sorry, the CPU blocks of AIOs always remind me of the scuba regulator. Um, to answer the question, it really depends on the build. Um, if budget is a consideration, then I would suggest air coolers. They actually perform better on the average than AIOs for a much cheaper price. But, you know, if you want a little something, something, you know, a bit to make your build distinctive, then AIOs are the way to go. Yun nga. Um, and you can find some reasonably priced naman. I would not call NZXT reasonably priced, even though we <laughs> carry a lot of them. Um, and they are quite popular. So yeah, the Z63, the Z series are the ones with the LCD display. Um, for my own personal build, like when I finally do get to buy a new build, um, yeah, I would consider AIO actually. Um, my my current thinking is like I want a Core P3, which is the thermal take uh, open air case, and then that that would look good with an AIO. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fritz says na yes. Well, the you can't get rid of the two long tubes that go from the CPU block to the rad. I mean, that's just the that's just the way it goes. I guess, you know, with a custom liquid cooling setup, you could, um, I mean, you, you do still need tubes, obviously, to carry the liquid from the rad to the CPU block, but you can design them nicely, and usually they're clear, so you can see the fluid. That's part of the that's part of the appeal of a custom setup. Sa AIO kasi, or all-in-one, parang preset na siya. You really can't have that, those transparent tubes. Um... It is true, they do get in the way sometimes. Although the thing with air coolers, a lot of people don't kind of find the aesthetic blocky. Um, especially if you get it with a big boy cooler. You're basically just 
sticking that thing in there. Um, so there's not it's not much for aesthetics. Um, Ron, do we still carry internal <laughs> DVD drives? No, we do not. We do not have any optical drives. Actually, the shop turns three years this July, and uh, looking back, we've never carried optical drives. <laughs> I might have gotten one or two uh, special custom orders for a customer, like for an office build and things like that. Um, but even finding cases nowadays that still have ODD or that still have room for ODD optical disk drives, um, it's quite rare. So, and I, yeah, we've never carried them in shop. So I'll just bring you around to the builds that we have on hand. Actually, there were four here, but... Um, the fourth one got picked up. It was a white MacCube 310P, so a deep cool case. Um, that particular build was with us for a long time. The customer bought the initial parts in March and only finished the build. On, yeah, only finished the build now. And the customer asked us, they only finished it yesterday, like buying the stuff. It was like, can, can we get it now? Can we get it now? So we actually rushed the build, rushed in the sense that we prioritized the build, and then pala, it was picked up today, not yesterday. But uh, it was ready yesterday. So we really tried to accommodate our customers as much as possible. This guy is actually not a build. He's a returning PC because um, it's crashing for some reason. We don't know. It's getting a lot of uh, blue screens of death. So we're going to... We're gonna do our usual diagnostics to see what's wrong. Um, it's a cooler master case. I think it's a MB510 with the three ARGB fans. Good looking case, good looking ventilation. You can see that it's a mesh front panel with with side mesh uh, grills as well. Uh, usual dust filter on top. And uh, the TG is quite nice. It's like basically wall to wall. Yeah. But maybe I should have separated this guy because whatever virus he has might transfer to the new PCs. But no, that's I I kid. Um, I really have to stop making jokes like that. Like um, sometimes in the Facebook posts I say that oh we set the RGB to blue so mas malamig na siya ngayon. And then some people do ask now why that is and oh, I, I, I I you know I'm I'm joking just like I was joking that we need to separate this because whatever if it, if it has a virus it might transfer to the other guys. Um, computer viruses don't work like that. But maybe I should stop making jokes like that because some people do get confused. Um, yeah. So this guy you've seen before, actually, and I'm, it might have been featured in the previous live from the shop. Uh, this is a Thermaltake H300 um, Snow version. And this build has been done for a long time. Um, but it was... Oh, and yeah, we have the... No wonder we only have one of the white uh, Corsair Vengeance. Dito pala nagamit yung isa. Um... This rig is for a returning customer. He bought two computers for his two sons last year. He's an OFW. And now this is for his daughter. But this has been finished for a long time. And actually, the final cost has not been paid yet. But we were like, it's okay. We, we trust you. We know you're an upstanding kind of guy. We know you won't you know, run. Because basically, we can't... Once we open the parts and install them, it's not brand new, right? So we don't to sell it at the regular price just in case, what, for whatever reason... <clears throat> the customer decides to back out. But we were like, um, yeah, we trust you. And, you know, you, we, we know you're a stand-up guy. So we assembled it. And then even though he told us that he, his wife could only come pick up the PC after MECQ. So that was like six weeks, two months ago. Um, but yeah, since MECQ ends today, I think, officially. Or, yeah, well, officially ended yet, midnight last night or whatever. But now we're under GCQ Plus or whatever. Again, it's hard to keep track anymore. But yeah, this this baby should be going home soon to its new owner. And a lot of our customers do this. You know, the build I mentioned previously, they buy parts, they have it stockpiled with us, and then once everything is ready, we complete the build. And so yeah, and sometimes it's months that we were carrying the item in stock, the items in stock before the build actually gets to the owner. This guy is completely finished except for the graphics card. Because he is waiting for a 3000 series card. Um, and again, he's paid down payment. This isn't fully finished yet. But we said, what the heck? Let's just let's build it now. So it's all ready to go except for a GPU. We do actually have some GPUs in stock. The 6700 XT. These are the only <laughs> GPUs we have left. 
it's crazy, you know. Uh, I mean, it's uh, of course, uh, you, if you're into PC, you know that it's really difficult to um, keep part. You know, there's a GPU shortage and everything, but it's 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 really crazy on our end. I I I, I jump through all these kind of hoops to get graphics cards, and then they just they just sell out, and it's really nakakapagod. <laughs> it's really tiring sometimes, to be honest. But hopefully, we'll be getting more 3000 series next week. Um, and so this build is slated to get one of those guys. The, um, what's interesting about this build is, so you know this is the H510 Elite case, also from NZXT. Very popular case because this front, uh, this front part, the, the, front, the, the front face is, you know, TG glass also. You can see the 140mm AR2 RGB fans. So very, quite a looker of a case. Although the cooling is not so good because basically where does the air enter? Um, this is why mesh front is preferred with the mesh side grills. Even the TT has intake on one side. <laughs> but the H510 Elite is kind of infamous for not having good airflow. But it's just such a good looking case and the people who have bought it have not complained. You know, again, computer parts are designed to tolerate uh you know high temperatures for sustained periods and a lot of the enthusiasts of course want to keep their rigs as cool as possible but uh again it, it's a trade-off i mean if you get pleasure from the aesthetics and uh, i i do i i like you know my pcs to have a nice aesthetic especially for my personal use um and so it it could it is a fair trade-off for some people na it does look quite good even if it gets a little toasty inside. And you'll notice what we did here. This is actually a... I wouldn't say a hack, but it's it's, it's quite difficult to get the radiator here. This is the only... This is a 240mm... Sorry, a 280mm rad. Uh, this is the LCD display. This is an NZXT AIO Z63. It's very difficult to get the rad in here and it's the only this is the only place to mount the radiator you know this there's no space on top or in the rear um and we do have a video we, we we've done this before for other builds we do have a video about it and a lot of people ask how do we get the radiator on the front um and again a lot of people you you have to remove the fans of the radiator so the intake fans basically are also tasked with drawing air from the outside and pushing the air through the rad this is not again this impacts um performance but again we've done it before the pc is still running along fine so again it's a trade-off i mean you want an aio you want the h510 elite and you want an aio um yes we can do both of these things but it does come at you know you have to trade off in another area but again it's not we we've oh and the gpu needs to be kind of short one thing these yeah the new gpus are kind of like long so we need to make sure na isha tatama but i mean like so uh, put it naman, but yeah i wonder how ah oh, well it really can't be that long the gpu because it has this um that the nzxt kind of bar like thing Although this is also removable. Uh, it will really depend on what the GPU we get. Yeah. So it is quite a looker though, that H510 Elite. And yeah, it is quite popular. A lot of people do like it. Oh, special shout out to the Amaran 200D. I love I love that light. Um, really super bright. I think it's only at twenty five percent. It's doing a lot. Uh, really helping the, really helping the lighting in our videos. Um, if it's a software issue, do you still support that? We'll do the usual things, like we'll we'll offer to reinstall Windows and things like that. Um, if it's a driver issue, we'll try to 
update the drivers or find a stable driver version. But at a certain, but at the, you know, it only goes if there's not much we can do after that. Eh? Like if let's say your RGB software, you're using ASUS uh, or MSI Mystic Lite for some reason, for whatever reason, it's not working with your RGB and its software. There's really not much we can do at that point because it's coding. Na yun, eh? or, kumbaga, um, it's really in the program. So as much as possible, we still do help with software. Um, primarily also to help isolate whether it's a hardware problem, which we can fix by sending back to our suppliers. Or if it's a software thing, we do still try to work the problem um, quite often. Especially for non-technical users, they don't make that distinction. Eh? They just know that their PC is not working, that they bought it from Hardware Sugar, and that Hardware Sugar should fix it. Um, so we do try to fix it, even if it is a software problem. Um, and if we run out of our, you know, we run out of tricks in our bag, that's when we say, well, you know, it's sorry, it's really not covered under the warranty. The the hardware itself is fine. Um, hopefully, a driver will come around, or you know, Windows will update or things like that. But yeah, we try as much as possible uh, within limits. So actually, this is very short. We usually <laughs> Uh, I streamed for like an hour 30. Um, although that, that's all I had for today. Mm. We do have Ballistics RAM now. I do like Crucial. One of the SSDs in my rig is a Crucial. It's worked fine for years. Uh, MX500. We do have the that one now. Oh, this is the 2TB. So we, yeah, we have the 2TB MX. We had other crucial SSDs. I don't know where they went. Hold out, Naba. <laughs> Gotta look into that. <laughs> yeah, but we do have the crucial ballistics RAM now. Crucial is quite good for memory. And it's a good brand to. You know, it's not as expensive as Corsair or things like that. But uh, Or on the C SSD end, it's not as expensive as Samsung. But they're very reliable. Uh, I'm quite happy with my crucial SSD. Um, these got back into stock, the triple fans, although we've put them on Lazada and Shopee. Um, also, everybody's favorite, NTH1, also back in stock. These things, <laughs> they, these things never go out of style. We're always restocking them. They're always uh, selling out. We always try to restock. And then suddenly, they're out of stock. Then we need to wait several months. So, but yeah, now they're back in stock. Hmm... Oh, these guys also back in stock. This guy not back in stock, but we keep. <laughs> uh, Asus has sent us some stuff over, you know, over the three years or so. So there's a cap, there's the lanyard and things like that. So we kind of like have a mini R ROG shrine. This one actually, I forget the model, but this is a, an ROG uh, pre-built. And it's from one of our YouTube members. So he saw that we like to decorate the shop. Um, we also have a <laughs> towel. <laughs> An ROG towel, which we ha kind of have it displaying outside. So this one, uh, he saw, you know, he was he went to the shop and he saw that we like to display things. I sorry, I forget the model of this one, but then, oh here we go. This is the great, the GR8, ASUS ROG. He's like, you know, I have a desktop that's not working anymore, but I know that you like to display. So you know, do you wanna have it for the shop? I'm like, sure, yeah. Um, so we're displaying it now. It actually is quite a very interesting case. I mean, for lack of a, I mean, I can't. It doesn't work anymore, so I haven't seen it turned on. But um, yeah, that's. We like to do those little things. Again, yun nga, it's um. Uh, a lot of the shops don't really care about the aesthetic. Or one of the things we didn't like about the local shops is that yun nga parang nakatambak lang lahat. Although as I say that, you know, Hardware Sugar has really kind of outgrown uh, this space. When we first got here, it was like huge, and we're like, wow. But uh, as our stock, as our inventory grows, we've had to become sort of like the other shops also na nakatambak na lang, which I actually do not like. Uh, this should all be open. So we are thinking about um, either moving or tearing down this wall. This, this wall in front of you, there's a unit right, um, right behind it. And so it's currently unoccupied. So we're wondering if we should just bite the bullet and take up the whole ground floor basically of the building that we're in 
So we can tear down this wall and it'll connect to the unit in the back. Um, yeah, there in the back. So that is one option. Or, well, because, you know, a lot of businesses have gone, have gone out of business. Um, and it's really a sad sight to see. And there are a lot of vacancies in the area. So we're also scouting around to see if we can get a bigger place for cheaper. But that would mean giving up this particular space or, you know, moving out. Um, it has been a good space. Um, I was super happy when we first got here. You notice, and you know, we have the custom, custom, th this table. Let me get the other camera. Both of these tables are custom, that table and that table. These shelves, all wooden, all custom. So we'd have to move those into the new shop if ever we moved. Um, the hardware sugar sign is actually from our first shop. At first, it was outdoors, but when we moved to this new place, we put it indoors since wala namang wala masyadong frontage yung shop ngayon. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep that sign. It's a nice reminder um, of the old place where we first started, which was super small. Yeah, uh, I know. Um, I, I know a lot of the shops do that, para nakatambak lang, and they actually make the. That's how you know where to pass, because they they form their own alleyways. Uh, but I've never liked it. Uh, I always it seems so messy. Uh, and so uh, yeah, we really need to maybe move to a bigger spot, na talaga, kasi, um, yeah, I don't like. I like. I, I want the. I want it to be clean and neat. Um, yes, there is a distributor for Crucial here. Not the brand's not so popular, eh? but yeah, there is a there is a local distributor, and we do we do carry them sometimes. The one terabyte uh, SATA SSD, uh, Soria from Facebook. Um. Uh, yes, we we do have it. It's on the site. Uh, you you can look it up on the site. Sorry, I can't remember now. And I think we have a bunch of different uh. Brands now na na SSD one TB SATA, so best to check on the site. Uh, Dante, so YouTube stream not up? No, for some reason I have no idea, but it's my stream's messed up again. Um, it won't stream from to YouTube, so I'm just gonna download this later on from our re, from restream and then upload it to YouTube as a video. Um, but it's it's kind of it, it kind of annoying. I don't know. This was happening to me last year. And I thought I licked the problem, but apparently hindi. Mm, yon. So, uh, a shorter. Oh, sige nga, before I go, I'm gonna say thank you to Canon. <laughs> we have no, uh, like, we have zero experience with cameras and things like that. We're PC geeks. We're not camera geeks. But um, we reached out to several brands and told them that, you know, um, we're PC geeks. We don't know anything about cameras, but we're having to shoot a lot of videos and stuff. What do you recommend? So Canon was kind enough to send us the M6 Mark II, EOS M6 Mark II. And actually, it's super nice but to use one of these things. This is the first time that I've actually ever used a SLR or DSLR. I don't, I don't even know what the terms are. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I, the, the video is so nice. The pictures that I, I'm, I, we're starting to use them. The latest... Video, the thumbnail, um, the video on you can help save the world that was taken with the Canon and then our editor was like, wow, this is so much nicer. I don't even need to do anything basically to the, to the, um, to the vid, uh, to the picture. I just need to put the text and that's it. Um, Emil Rojas, automated stock control, which really benefit. Yes, actually we're looking into that. I'm looking into... Um, an RFID system, an RFID system for inventory, and uh, and it seems like overkill. But but what I want to do is I want to wave around a wand in the shop and automatically know like what we have in stock, and that'll that'll push automatically to our site and things like that. Because if you go with a regular barcode thing, then you still need to go around, you still need to pick up those boxes, and you still need to lift them, and then you know gun the barcode, shoot the barcode. What what I like about RFID is you know they're they're active, so you just need to have a a reader that can can handle all of the RFID IDs in a concentrated space. And I've, I and I I'm actually in talks with several suppliers. The problem is they're quite expensive, and I I've gotten um sample units, sample RFID uh, tags from Singapore. The one manufacturer sent it to us, but I'm still looking for a reader. 
Um, but yes, that, that is one of the things that I want to incorporate into Project Pizza uh, to even push our inventory to make it even easier to update inventory. And you know, we're a small shop. We just have one branch and some people might think it's overkill, but I really want to push for these automated kind of, you know, technology's here. It's here to make our life easier. And inventory is such a pain in the ass to do. When it comes in, when it goes out, what do we have? What's listed on Lazada? What's listed on Shopee? And it ha it often happens that I think something is sold out, but we still have pala in stock. But it's just being sold on Facebook or, th or sorry, on Lazada or, or th places like that. So we have a custom inventory system in place, but we are looking pa to expand it even, to upgrade it even more uh, using RFID technology. And so I'll just end on that note. Um, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes of Hardware Sugar that I personally am enjoying um, because you know it's allowing us to to customize things the way that we want to do it, like our inventory system, our website, and things like that. So even if we're um, even if we're a small shop, we're we're proving that you know we can use technology to fully maximize everybody so that. Yeah, we can keep a small staff so that we can trans we have less overheads, so we can translate that into better prices and things like that. Um and also so we don't have to hire people to do menial tasks like, oh my god, to update inventory. I don't mean menial in a derogatory sense because I am the I'm the schmuck who does inventory. Like ninety-five percent of the inventory in the shop, from ordering to processing it going in. Siguro um the the staff do most of the work going out because they're the ones who are always in the shop but going in and ordering um falls on me and to update the inventory whenever i'm in the shop i'm always <laughs> i'm always climbing up these uh these uh shelves to you know put stuff in to check what we have and things like that so i'm super enjoying um the behind the scenes also of hardware sugar um but it has gotten a bit tiring <laughs> Bit tiring with the YouTube and things like that, uh, but but still still enjoyable. Um, and yeah, we do have a lot of plans in the works, unsexy things like inventory management and things like that. Um, we're we're definitely looking into being innovative also on that front. Uh, nothing is overkill unless you get a 59, 50x and 3090 and play snake with it. I do want. I do want something interactive like in the future, maybe when we have our own space now, we'll have LCD displays like outside and then people can interact with them either through their phone, you know, to play Snake or things like that um, or to to display whatever, like something more interactive um, but that's something like way, way down the line. Uh, but yeah, something fun to look forward to but we probably wouldn't use a 5950X and a 3090 on it. Although maybe... Um, It'll take us so long to get into a new place that we can we can upgrade to how I like it. That baka the, by then yun na, yun yung afford namin. <laughs> Sobrang luma na 3090 at 5950X. So thank you to Canon for the EOS M6 Mark II. Super enjoying it. Fuji also lent us the XS10, which is with my brother Rafael. Um, but we're gonna trade pretty soon so that I get to use the Fuji and he'll use the Canon, and then we'll do reviews about it. But uh, yeah, thanks to the two brands. Um, and I, yeah, personally, I can only talk about the M6 Mark II, but I am super enjoying it and the quality. There's a lot to learn, especially you know, for me that I don't really know anything about cameras. But um, yeah, so far, so good. It's been very productive. So thanks so much, um, Facebook audience. We were not joined by the YouTube audience today because you know, I don't know what the heck is going on with Restream um, or something. But um, this episode will be posted on YouTube as a video. So that is it for live from Hardware Sugar for me. Um, enjoy GCQ Plus, but don't enjoy too much. Uh, stay safe, and thanks for watching. Do check in or do um, if you have the time on Monday night. Please do check out our in the industry episode with uh, the founders of yeah I want to say Yuga Yaga yeah Yang Yang sorry Yang Yang Mobile. Um, they actually have quite interesting games and uh, they're a local game dev studio. So I am looking forward to interviewing them on Monday. 
Thanks everyone who tuned in. Have a good weekend. Stay safe.